Five Americans are back on U.S. soil today after spending years in, Iran in an Iranian prison. They were freed in a deal to release $6 billion in restricted funds and return five Iranians in U.S. custody. Laura Aguirre explains why some leaders did not support the trade. It's home sweet home for five Americans back in the States after years of detention in Iran. Families were hugging, crying. People at some points hadn't seen each other in eight years. U.S. Special Envoy for Hostage Affairs Roger Carstens escorted the returning Americans home. I was really struck by their strength, their resilience, their hopefulness, and their love for their country. On Capitol Hill, many GOP lawmakers are criticizing the release of $6 billion in frozen Iranian funds and the return of five Iranian prisoners from U.S. custody. Unfortunately, the deal that secured their release may very well be the latest example of President Biden rewarding and incentivizing Tehran's bad behavior. This is a good deal. We essentially took Iranian money from a restricted account in South Korea and put it in a much more restricted account in banks in Qatar, where it's going to be monitored by the Department of Treasury and it's only going to be used to buy humanitarian items. For the families, the focus is now on healing and moving forward. For the whole family, it's, it's the, great, the greatest news we could have uh, expected. The uncle of one of the freed Americans, Sia Namazi, says it was his nephew who kept the family spirits high during Namazi's captivity. He was so resilient. Instead of us trying to cheer him up, he was cheering us up. He wanted to show that, look, don't, don't worry. I'm good. I'm, I'm doing good. All five are now truly doing good at home. I'm Laura Aguirre for WDRB News.